Hi, welcome back. This is the third tutorial on App Game Kit, and in this one, I'm taking the project that I did in the second tutorial and adding more commands to it. Okay, let's have a look at this. So I'm going to add a backdrop because currently, if we run the program, we've got the smiley face that moves around, but we've got nothing in the background. Well, I've created a, a backdrop.png file that's in the media directory. I'm going to load that. I'm loading it into image number two. Okay, then I'm going to create sprite two with image number two. So if we run that, we should see a backdrop. There we go. Simple as that. Um, the order in which sprites are drawn is the order in which they're loaded. So if we take the smiley, select this section where smiley is loaded in, and put it in front of the backdrop. It's going to show the smiley, then the backdrop, and of course the problem with that is you can't see the smiley because the backdrop's full screen. So again, we just move it, select it all like that, Control X, Control V, run again, and the ordering is sorted out. Sprite ordering is important on games um, as more and more things go to the screen, and we're going to add more to the screen now. So I've got some code that's um, commented out. What that means is um, anything, we see this forward slash and star, anything after that until a star and slash is um, seen by the AGK it becomes a comment. So we just take out that and that. Uh, we still have some comments because we have forward slash forward slash which means anything on this line is a comment. Okay. Uh, what we're interested in is the items that have become available. So we've got another loop here. If remember a loop is where we're taking a variable, in this case i, we're making it equal a value of 1, and we're going to go around this loop 10 times. So what are we doing inside this loop? Well, we're creating a sprite, and the sprite number will be 2 plus i. Well, i will be, be starting as 1, so it will become, become sprite number 3, and it will use image number 1. What's image number one? It's the smiley face, okay? Because that's where we loaded the image number one with the smiley face. So we're going to create ten smiley faces. We're going to position them, okay? Again, we're setting the sprite position of two plus i. So sprite number three on the first time through the loop. We're going to randomize its x and its y. So we're taking a value of between 100 and 900 that AGK will just come up with, and a y position of 100 by 668. You can see that the values are within the boundaries of the of the screen resolution we're using. Okay. Um, ignore this code for now, we're going to come to that in a moment. Then we're going to call this command sleep and that um, stops all the program for a thousand milliseconds. Obviously we can change that value, 100, but a thousand is one second. There's a thousand milliseconds in a second. Then we do a sync, so the sprite that's been created will be drawn to the screen. Then we do next i, so we go back up there, i becomes 2, it creates the next sprite, which is number 4, because it's 2 plus i, i is now 2. Uh, we set the position of the new sprite, sprite number 4, again, and a random location. Let's just run this and see this happen. You can see every second a random sprite is being created and positioned in a random location, and that will continue until all ten are drawn. Now, the one we can move got moved to there because it entered the loop lower down, and we can move that one around. Now, notice this one because it was created first is behind all these smiley faces. Well, we can do something about that. Got a command down here: set sprite depth one comma one. What's that going to do? Well, that's going to set sprite number one to depth 1, and any depth that is a low value will be drawn first. All sprites generally are generated at depth value 10. So if we rerun this, again we've got the creating of the 10 sprites, 1, 2, 3, this is our one we can move, which will be repositioned down here when these 10 are drawn. There we go, and now it's over the top of all these other sprites. I mean, do you remember we talked about the alpha of the image? Well, because around 
the sprite is actually a, a square image but it's got an alpha color and that means when it goes over it doesn't have the like doesn't draw the empty areas it merges nicely with the sprites behind okay so we're going to do some other fun things with this sprite we're going to change the alpha okay so it's, this is the transparency of the sprite if you like and we're going to again take each sprite and give them a random alpha value okay this will make sense when I run it but we're choosing a value between 10 and 250 well we could do 255 because the highest value on this particular parameter is um, 0 to 255 if it was 0 you wouldn't see it let's just run it and I'll show you so you can see that it's giving each one a random transparency alpha that's a bit more visible than these yeah you can see how they they you can see through them so that's a pretty cool effect that you can do in one command um, I'll de-highlight that now and open these ones what do these do well I'm going to set the color of the sprite the red value of the sprite to a random value between 150 and 255 okay so it's going to be red a reddish tint I've got to set the green and blue because we've got RGB of of the sprite I'm going to set them to zero so the only color that's going to show through is the red color of the sprite so I run that you can see we've got different reds appearing there we go you can see there are different different hints of, of, of red it's the same sprite but we've colored it red okay that's quite a lot to take in I think um, if you play around with these values you get to experiment them and, and see what you can do with them uh, sleep is a good one to know so if we just change that to a hundred you'll see it run faster you see and obviously if we took it out totally just comment it out and run it it'll be instant there we go so hopefully that's introduced some more things about sprites uh, more to come lots more to come the AGK is very powerful and it's going to take many tutorials to show you all that but hopefully you're learning you're progressing and uh, you're following these uh, so see you in the next uh, video subscribe if you've not already and uh, I look forward to teaching you more about App GameKit thanks <laughs>